close to the camera, but I think that works. So, howdy y'all. I don't even think I need an introduction, but as you may have known, Castro Studios himself has posted that I will be uploading on his channel. So, today I thought I would read to you some some fan fictions. So, I think today we're gonna read some Hamilton fanfics. So, thought I'd bring out my <laughs> my tricorn hat or my lovely other tricorn hat. I don't know which one would be better for the mood. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with this one because George Washington wears like this sort of hat in Hamilton. So, hang on, I need to get, I'm gonna use my computer. I'm not prepared. <laughs> this is like the only time that I get today. So, you know, there's my bookcase, very disorganized. Um, Kermit the Frog. So actually, let me see. This is gonna backfire. <coughs> okay. God, I found some like really interesting ones that I wanted to read and now I can't find them. No, what is it called? I wanted to read that one and I don't know what it's called. Go, go, go. Fuck. Go. I want to go back. I want to go back. God damn it. I knew I did something right. I knew I did something right about this. Where's my list? Okay. Yes, sir. George Washington, ex-reader. I love me some George W. George Washington. So some of these I actually haven't read. And I'm so excited to read these. So let me pick out a book to pose. <gasps> I never returned, I need to return that book. I don't wanna sign in. Oh God damn it! I don't wanna sign in. Oh, no, I don't want to sign in. I want to read online. Why can I do that? I want to read online. Yes, sir. All right. So today we are reading George Washington X Reader. So. Oh, fuck. How am I supposed to? <laughs> God. Jala Mup Mup was a beautiful young woman. She was a strong-willed and with a short temper, but still managed to be caring as well. All of this didn't matter, of course. That reason being it was the 1700s and she was black. Okay. Jala was put to work. I'm sorry if I'm like butchering this. Like, I don't, I don't know how to say this. She, the moment she was put to work, the moment she was born and forced to pick coffin. Fuck. <laughs> She was forced to pick cotton as a newborn infant. Though she didn't know it when she was little, she was destined for great things. Miss Mup Mup was born as a slave. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Not to be like that bitch, but historical accuracy, slaves weren't typically given last names. <laughs> she worked for the Washingtons, the head of the family, George Washington. First laid eyes on her weeks after her birth. The second he saw her, he whispered to himself, this girl looks a piece of shit. And he was right. She was a fucking demon. Always running around causing trouble and then yelling to defend herself when George brought the whip out. Oddly enough, she managed to wiggle out of all her punishments with her persuasive tone. One day, George had to go. It was him job to lead the revolution <laughs> and help his country. Dela, now a young, stubborn woman, was convinced that she could contribute to the war effort. She brought this topic up with George. Mr. Washington then proceeded to grab a banana, a fuck, a banana, peel it, and then smush it all over her face. Being the little filthy whore she is, she and George every second of it. She seductively dragged her finger down her face. 
and licked the smushed banana off of it. This earned a small smirk from Washington. Washington-like, he quietly commented. She simply winked in response. That's when she grabbed the whip he was holding from behind his back and then proceeded to tackle him down, punching the life out of his face. <laughs> she stood on his chest and screamed, Now I hold the power. The tables have turned. They have turned. Turned. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this chapter, now we're on chapter two. Boom chicka boom boom. Months had passed since Jala has become the new master. The master of everyone. She sat on her throne, staring coldly at the- I ha- I have- I can't. I can't. This has to be a joke. <laughs> they cannot be taking this seriously. <laughs> god. Oh my god. The castle really wasn't that nice. The revolution has since ended and she was forced- She's forced the general to stay by her side. He was now tied to a pole next to her seat with the leash that connected to a tight collar. <laughs> What the fuck is this? There's a tight collar around his neck. She looked him over. Oh, she looked over at him, regarding his sleeping figure for a moment. How beautiful he looked when he slept. Taking a moment to think, she stood up and walked over to him, kneeling down beside him. As she began to run her hand through his long, powdered wig, she felt a sudden urge to take control of her. She instantly let it possess her, offering no resistance as she felt her hands pulling her pants down. Oh my god. Jala then took a huge shit on Washington's sleeping face. He screamed in agony, claiming that it burned him. This can very be well true as Jala turned into a vampire early on in her life and only eats acid. <laughs> her sick shit started to burn through George's skin as she knelt over, grinning at him. Oh wow, what a marvelous sight, she remarked. George, dearest, you do know that I love to hear your screams. Ah! was the only response. Miss Mup Mup sighed and took his jacket off, using it to wipe the acid crap up. Honestly, you overreact so much. He then looked up her with unloving eyes with his big brown ones, quietly asked, Master, will you marry me? George, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Chapter three, boy with your ugly ass. Jala Mup Mup's eyes filled with tears. Yes, she exclaimed. I've been waiting for you to ask. George could not be happier. He hugged Jala tightly, who in turn pushed him away and screamed, get the fuck off me, you fucking pervert. We're having a divorce, you fucking bitch cut. You already have a fucking wife. Know where she is. I use her as a fucking toilet. Get your sorry excuse for a general out of my face. <laughs> you know, I really wasn't expecting it to go this way. I was expecting it to be more serious. <laughs> I really was, I don't know. <laughs> George, taken aback, had no idea how to respond, so he decided to go with his instincts. He grabbed her hair, yanked her down so that she was bent over his knee, and started to spank her. Okay. I should have, I should have put, like, PG-13 at, like, the beginning of this. <laughs> but I'm, I'm taking that back. I'm making it rated R. No, Jala screamed, trying to get away, but George wasn't having any of that bullshit. Sparta! He, <laughs> he, uh, pulling her pants down. That word. Oh no. That word was a trigger word for a hypnotist that gave her many years ago that makes her incredibly horny. She looks back at him. Lustful eyes. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah. So he dropped her. Continued in chapter four. Chapter four. Wow, what a nice dildo. Did you get it from Target? So let's talk about that. You know, I don't know how much more of this I can physically take with all of my being. God damn it. I was gonna read like so many and I was gonna be like, oh, this is funny. This is, this is, this is not funny. This is <laughs> so horrible. Mr. Washington screamed. Also, Mr. Washington was in all caps. Screamed in horror as Jala Mup Mup turned and straddled him. She pulled her shirt off to... Pause. Pause. Once again, I'm pulling in with the whole freaking historical accuracy. Women would have worn dresses in this time. I don't know if Jalal Mup Mup is, you know, trying to like pose as a man or something. Typically, women who are also owners of slaves considered their master. They still dress like a woman. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate this. 
She pulled her shirt off to reveal two lava lamps taped to her chest over her nipples. I wonder how long it took this author to write this. <laughs> I want to know every single thought process that they went through during this. What the fuck? George had no time to finish as he was pulled into a rough kiss. Jalad reaches down into the general's pants, pulling out three lemons, eight grandfather clocks, and Hitler's grand golden dildo. She tossed all of this aside as she pulled his 15-foot-long dingle-dong dongle out of his pants. It pointed up at the clouds like a skyscraper. How the fuck was she supposed to get up onto that? George, who was chilling now, reached into his pants and pulled out some rock climbing gear right out of his ass, quietly mumbling to himself, damn, all the stuff I keep. There always comes out bloody. Wonder why. Jalad disregarded his comment and started to climb using the gear. How? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? I was expecting something that I could actually critique as a writer. But <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god. Where was I? Okay. She needed to get to the top of that big, hard, somewhat malnourished looking dongle why are they using dongle have any of you ever used the word dongle to describe a dick like what the fuck imagine like having sex with someone and you're like let me ride that dongle hoe like what the fuck what the f i regret this i'm this is it this is gonna be the one episode that i have of this wait cried george i want you to marry me still but Jalal could not hear him. Jalal had peeled the skin off his dick to make classy jackets and earmuffs. Pause. But Jalal could not hear him. Jalal had peeled the skin off of his dick to make classy jackets, earmuffs for herself. Along with some dick skin heels, she was now flaunting. Ah, goes George. Ha, goes Jalal. George, be a dear and go make me some supper like the little bitch that you are. You know what? I, I applaud her. I applaud her. She is bold. She is dominant. And we need more of that in... Fuck. I, I can't even play along with this. I'll make it with the blood of your family. What the fuck was that? You half a cent whore with a foot for her face looking ass. I said that I'll make you gobble this dick up, woman. He screamed back as he ran into the kitchen to go prepare his genitalia for the- Jalal Mup Mup then decided to go paint herself gray and sit on top of an apple to see if she could burst it with her butthole. She couldn't, but she did make some fine apple juice. I don't know how fine it is since, you know- I'm not even gonna go there. Squaw! Chapter 5, I think. Martha Washington was back, bitches. She sprints into the throne. Where? Why are they in a castle? Mount Vernon. I'm assuming this is at Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is not a castle. What the fuck? Mount Vernon. What the? There are no castles in Virginia. Not even in this time. Oh my god. I'm I'm very much regretting this. She sprints into the throne room, armed with a tree stump and three grenades that are filled with confetti. Beside her is her sidekick, Die Nasty, also known as Destiny or Destination. <laughs> Die Nasty grabs a grenade and tosses it at the evil Jala Mup Mup tyrant. Screaming, Jala presses herself to the ground. She got confetti in her eyes. Poisonous confetti. She was going blind, but she still had enough energy to call for help. She opened her mouth wide as her jaw unhinged, opening to a span of three feet long and two feet wide. Why did, Why do I need to know that? Why Why is that significant? <laughs> why can't you just say she unhinged her jaw and it was really fucking big? Like, why is it three feet long and two feet wide? Her eyes rolling back until only the whiten could be seen were sinking back into the sockets deeper and see the writing of this is just so weird. What the fuck? A deep and ferocious sound clawed its way out of her throat and was unleashed into the air. Martha Washington, who was dragging George away, looked over. Her eyes widened with fear. 
eyes could be seen in Jala's mouth. How I still don't know how to pronounce this. Like J-A-A-L-A. -A -A I think I'm pronouncing it right. Then a horrific leathery gray face followed a demon. So that's why she painted herself gray. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe that was like symbolism before. Fuck. No, I gotta have it at a jaunting angle. That way if I bring up my mess, y'all don't care. It continued to pull itself out of the tyrant, revealing more details. Sharpened yellow and bloody teeth grinned at the Washingtons and dynasty. And its hair was a mane of black tangles. Scarred and skinny arms led to the bruised hands and long, thick nails that resembled claws. After the demon climbed out, Jalal dropped to the ground. The limp is a banana peel that has been left out for two days. What is what is with this writer in bananas? Like, do they have like a banana thing? Like, do they just really like bananas? Do they have like a banana cake? Like, I need to know. Limp as a noodle that's been fully cooked. Limp as a guy's dick after he finds out his girlfriend is a furry. Limp. George screamed for her to get up, but she didn't respond. The president tried to... Oh yeah, this is after the American Revolution. The president tried to push his way over to her, but he was weak from days of being deprived from food and water. Martha was easily able to hold him back. Dynasty reached into her shirt, pulled out a sword between her breasticles. She put herself between Washington's and the demon. I will not, okay, TW, I will not let you rape them, she called out. The demon only hissed out a laugh. We'll see. What the fuck? This is like getting so fucking weird. Okay, so then they just posted, um, for this next one, it's like new cover. So it says, don't look at her. She's not worth your time. Look into my eyes. Breasts are temporary, but liberty is forever. You know what? I live by that. I'm about to make that my senior quote. Bro. Oh, I don't care about this. This is. It's over. Literally, it says like, so 1000 reads. This says a lot about Wattpad. Do y'all want another chapter? Last updated, April 4th, 2019. What the f- I was, I was curious. You had me hooked, bruh. I was hooked. I was hooked. I was, I was, you know, I was iffy about it. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty iffy about it. I was like, what the fuck am I fucking reading? But you know, the plot was interesting. I was, I was invested. I was invested, dog. And it's over and it hasn't been updated in over a year, almost two. What the? God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, now we're gonna go into. So while I'm looking for this, um, I don't know what to talk about. It's not like I'm like really talking to anybody. Like you guys are like watching this probably as I'm gonna be in my room sleeping by the time this is uploaded. So, I mean, like, it's not like I'm having a conversation. You know, like I could be dead when this is uploaded and then this is my last memory this is the last thing that has been posted this is what you guys have to go look at and be like yes this was our last memory of taylor and it's me reading terrible fan fiction and almost crying <laughs> what the fuck i would hate that i would <laughs> now i can't die <laughs> oh my god imagine if i had died and my family found this video <laughs> i mean they can't get mad at me right i'm dead okay um oh my god Ugh. i need something terribly written i need something terrible i need terrible also why are there so many headcanons for hamilton like i know there's like thomas jefferson minku binder um there's like mute alexander hamilton which i think is kind of ironic Okay, so we're gonna do this one called Hamilton Fanfics. Um, the cover story, or cover, fuck. The cover picture is orchids. We need to go with this. Um, okay, we're gonna read the description this time. <laughs> Hello, reader. This is a collection of my fanfictions for, drumroll, Hamilton. Please do not expect the first couple of stories to be terrible, but do not fret. Oh, wait, they are terrible. Ah, I read that wrong. I don't know why I'm doing this. I can't fucking read. The first four stories were my first two months ago writing. Uh, don't care. All right, back to the book. 
Oh shit. I did not, 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 I did not. Chapter one. Herky, no. No. No, no, I don't want to read this. This looks bad. Not even like bad, but like I just don't feel like reading it. Oh my god, what is with Hercules X Reader? I'm trying to get. Oh my. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing no Hercules X Reader. I fucking hate Hercules Mulligan. See, this one's not Hamilton, but I still want to read it. Now nah, I'll save that for a different video. Hamilton one shots. All right. So a little known fact about me. I used to be really into fan fiction once upon a time. I really regret those days. So I know a thing or two about fan fiction. I can tell you when fan fiction is good and I can tell you when it's bad. So. What the fuck is this? So you haven't seen the movie. Oh, scary stories to tell in the dark. So wait, are you just, is this person just taking scary stories to tell in the dark and then just putting Hamilton characters in it? No, I don't want to read that. That sounds, that sounds dumb. I'm not going to lie. That really does sound dumb. The coach's daughter. Uh, no, I don't care. Aaron Burr's Instagram RP? Hell yeah. Oh my god, this just looks so dumb. What is this? Are these like written after like real people? This is so stupid. This is not even a book. It's just that and then has Peggy, why are you gonna take my phone? This is God, God damn it. You know what? This is not entertaining. I need some real fan fiction. <laughs> I need some drama, just like Jalan Met. Honestly, I think the first one I picked was a great first starter. I was not expecting it to take the route that it did, and I was not ready for that cliffhanger. But I think that was a good start, and now I'm not finding anything. I used to have all of these. This is upsetting. This is truly upsetting. I'm so disappointed from the bottom of my heart. But I think I'm going to call it a day just because, you know, I've been sitting here for 26 minutes reading out loud and acting like I exist. So anyways, let me know what y'all what y'all want, you know, like, what do you want me to read next? I can continue with the Hamilton and I will work my ass off trying to find more Hamilton fanfics or, you know. I can do whatever. You know, I found some Gravity Falls ones that are real questionable. I'm very excited to read those. You know, currently I'm just looking into fandoms. Fandoms that I was particularly a part of. Because, you know, I know, I know the shits. I know the shits. So, if you have any fandoms that you'd like me to read fan fictions about, um, I guess comment them below. And if it's a fandom I don't know, I'll definitely look into it and I'll definitely learn the characters so I can understand instead of being like, well, who's this guy? I don't understand why he is like this in the book. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to this horror that I decided to read. And I very much regret that's going to be burned in my mind for the rest of my life now. But anyways, I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. So thank you. Watch the pose, Castle Studios. About to blow, Castle Studios. What are those?